The emergence of multiple advanced brain imaging technologies and the combined application of these new approaches are helping to create new insights into the human brain which were not possible before. Dr. Michael Branzawatsky of Hogue Memorial Hospital Presbyterian in Newport Beach explains this advanced imaging technology. Even with uh, the most modern of techniques, such as CT scans, uh, MR scans, uh, we predominantly conventionally just image brain structure. Uh, advanced brain imaging takes us beyond structure. It takes us into the function of the brain, the physiology of the brain, the biochemistry of the brain. Uh, the internal constituents that are not easily visible uh, by simply examining the outer structure. The tests start with uh, the conventional backbone of cross-sectional imaging technology, uh, CT scanning, um, MR scanning, and now PET scanning, positron emission tomographic scanning. With MR, advanced imaging includes things like um, functional bold imaging or b imaging of the activity of the brain based on blood flow distribution through the brain when it's activated. It turns out that when our brains are active, as I'm speaking right now, the speech area of my brain is being delivered a much greater volume of blood flow, relatively speaking, to the rest of my brain. So when I'm activating my speech area, more blood flow goes there and we can see that with MR scanning and see the activation of that brain by my speech and by my auditory sensory uh, inputs as you're talking to me. MR can also show us the cabling of the brain with a technique called diffusion tensor imaging where we watch the uh, literally the flow of uh, the neuronal nerve endings and the flow along them uh, is able to be mapped. We see the connectivity, the cabling inside of the brain. We're seeing um, almost microscopic levels uh, of injury to the cabling, the neurons and their extensions uh, produced by trauma. There's a lot of interest around that uh, because of the veterans coming back from Iraq. Some of these uh, uh, diffusion tensor imaging techniques are being applied to see uh, what the effects of shock trauma to the brain uh, head injury are in, uh, in uh, soldiers. With PET scanning, we see actual metabolism of the brain. We can inject a radioactively labeled molecule and see how it's processed in the biochemical uh, processes of a brain cell and brain tissue. We can see disturbances in that uh, processing of various uh, molecules. And how has this technology helped in emergencies? Just before I came, we had a patient transferred with a ruptured aneurysm inside of their brain from another hospital um, in very critical condition. Um, and um, um, the ambulance brought him directly into one of our advanced CT scanners, which did the entire angiogram within uh, three minutes for us so we could identify where the aneurysm was, um, what the other blood vessels looked like. So when we actually brought him to the angiographic suite, we didn't have to take the time to study all the blood vessels. We knew exactly where the aneurysm was, guided our catheter to that aneurysm, and uh, were able to uh, to plug it up with microcoils, uh, uh, a minimally invasive interventional technique that seals off the, the ruptured spot. So the, the ability to have all of that knowledge ahead of time within five minutes from an advanced brain technology like CT angiography uh, is invaluable in critical instances such as this patient's.